Why, hello. How is everybody? Excellent. Well, I have an original poem for you tonight, but first, I would like to give you a little bit of backstory. Because it was just over a year ago, just a few days over a year ago, that John, my partner, and I walked through those curtains for the very first time. And <laughs> one of us, one of us. Um, and in the year since, we haven't always been able to make it. It's been kind of on and off, but whenever we could, we've been here. We've fallen in love with this place, with these people, made lots of friends. I remember the very first time we were here, Kasha had to go get us from next door, from the hookah bar, because we were lost and didn't know where we were. And we, she, we came in, she introduced us loudly, and everyone cheered like we do. And Jay Redden was over there and said, hey, welcome, really loudly, like he does. And over the night, I met Alicia and Amanda and various other people. And my group was sitting way back there in the, in the corner, like you do. And we were all kind of huddled over there. And I remember Russ challenging us at one point to say, hey, we've got seating up front. And we all ran, because we knew how to take a cue. We all ran <laughs> up front, jumped on the pillows. In, yeah, like you do. Some times of my life are etched in my memory forever. And that night was one of those. I knew we'd found a place that would be very special and dear to us. And I was right. So, I would like to read you something I wrote for this very occasion. This is about the inspiration and imagination that fill this place and that bond us all together and bring everything together and make, even when, it, when the show is careening wildly out of control, like, make, like you do, it makes it wonderfully entertaining and awesome. So this is for all of you. I recognized you the very first time I came to this place, you know. Your presence subtly pervading the space in between these four walls like air, filling it like water. Granted, it took me a little while to notice you. For while I know you well, it's in a different guise and by a different name. You're a tricky one that way and fickle too. You come and go as you please and can be as hard to summon as a hundred cats. <laughs> it's hard, I've done it. But this place, like few others I have known, you call home. If we're lucky, you are with all of us who perform and entertain. Those who with hoop or poi, pins or footwork, move with grace, crystallizing spirit into physical form with storytellers, poets, writers, singers, and actors who forge and shape words into a soul craft of truth and beauty. And all other creative people of all types and kinds, no matter what they do or make or are. For you are the spark of creativity, the flame of inspiration, which in this special place burns bright and incandescent. Lighting these walls with imagination and this stage just as much as Phobos and Deimos light. <laughs> I know it to be true that each setback is merely the prelude to success, each stymied and stifled moment, only the one before the breakthrough. You always were a dramatic one, prone to sudden twists and turns, but the muse you are to us all. And may you forever remain so. Thank you.